Over the past two weeks, the CSGO world has seen the rise of a new powerhouse. Avangar is on the map after stellar performances at Starladder Berlin and Blast Pro Series Moscow. The team from Kazakhstan is now ranked number six in the world, and I think it's safe to say that it's game time. Jame has always been a player to watch on LAN, and he continued that trend at the Starladder Berlin Major. In the new Legend stage, Avangar showed that they were no joke by taking Team Liquid to overtime in their best of one series. Up 20 to 18 on overpass, Jame had a chance to put Team Liquid at match point. Will they be able to trade him out? Will they look for this? Jame goes for a white peak with a pistol. That's beautiful. Giving Jame a chance. One versus one. He knows exactly where Stewie is. Around the pillar. Oh, oh Jame connects it. Can you believe it? Jame, that is some nerves of steel. Avangar would go on to finish off Team Liquid and eventually they'd qualify for the next stage with a best of three win over G2. In the champion stage, James showed his dominance with the off. In their quarterfinal match against Vitality, James led the server with a 1.33 rating and 41 off kills. His ability to find opening picks and hold the line on defense was a massive difference maker against the French squad. He'd eventually put the dagger in Vitality with yet another highlight to add to his collection. They're gonna step right in front of that Molotov. James still wants the fight, there's the jump back, huge shot! Bomb hits the deck. And Vitality is going to have to scramble to recover, and Jame coming back now has a chance on an Apex, and he's got that as well. Four kills in the round for Jame, and disaster strikes Vitality. So hungry, he's going to eat the entire team. Ace to take down Vitality. The only thing that would change against Renegades was that Jame was even more dominant. His rating jumped to 1.41 as Avangar would survive another long overtime map on Mirage, and followed it up with complete and utter domination on Dust2. Surely would eventually lose to Astralis in the finals, but no one expected them to make it there in the first place. Now just one week after at Blast Pro Series Moscow, Jame and Avangar were at it once again. Avangar stumbled initially after losing their first two matches to Nip and Forza, but those were the last contests they'd lose. With Jame's steady aim and other solid performances from Buster and Adren, Avangar would take down Navi, MIBR, and Ents in succession to reach the Grand Finals. Here, James saved his most dominant showing of the tournament for the grand final rematch against Fours. Now James has a ridiculous task on his hands. Oh, he's edged around the corner with the orb. It wasn't expected by Almeza. James bought himself space, time, a plant. But he's touching the bombs just yet, and if he stops them once, surely it's going to be too late. There's the trade fragger. Got to get Jerry now. He's got to get a flick as well. No fear from him whatsoever. James, with an absurd play, survives the bomb blast. No. James knows his... Oh, the timing. How does he know? Oh, oh no. no! That is unreal. James delivers the second one as well, of course. James, how do you know? The timing could not be more perfect. Looking to go into the V-bomb side, but Sanji lurks close oh to the MP9, God. and James is powering up. He's just only getting stronger as time goes on. As the Vanguard went on to beat fours 2-1, to one, James topped the server with a 1.43 rating and 52 kills on his off. And he did it all with his belt undone and his pants unbuttoned. To no surprise, James won tournament MVP as he was ranked first in rating, off kills, and had the fewest deaths per round. Avangar is now one of the best CSGO teams in the world, and as long as it's James time, this Blast Pro Series trophy won't be their last.